Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. We are working on our ECX Ruckus brushless two wheel drive. Now, this is really similar to the ECX Torment. The um, Both of them have problems with their plastic axles once you start running some more power through them, right? The stock, uh, or if you get the brush set up, um, you know, it'll be fine because that brush motor doesn't put out um, too much power for these axles. Now, once you switch over to, to a brushless setup like we have here, uh, you will start breaking these axles. Um, now, what we had done before on our previous ECX brushless was we swapped in the stronger um, Traxxas axles. Now, this is pretty ironic because... Um, Traxels are known for breaking their axles too, um, and people have all sorts of upgrades, but the, the uh, part number 6852X, these are the heavier duty plastic axles. Uh, they actually work better than the ECX uh, Ruckus axles, and I'll give you guys a theory why. Let me break out one of our... All right. So this was the actual broken axle off of the ruckus and let me find the equivalent okay this is the one off of the slash now take a take a look at that difference in uh in uh ear length here on the axle meaning uh this plastic ear this is what usually snaps off now the one off the ruckus is maybe about two millimeters longer there and I think it's that extra length, which, um, you know, the torque of this, uh, this axle when it's spinning, it, it flexes that ear back and forth, right? And the longer that, um, that ear is, the more leverage it presents uh, on, um, on that ear, right? More torque, more length equals more torque, and uh, it's easier to snap off, even uh, given the same... Um, same materials, you know, same plastic, I, and I don't know if these are exactly the same. Uh, they both look like a, you know, a, a, a nylon of sort, but um, you know, I'm not the the chemical composition may or may not be exactly the same. Who knows? But that extra length definitely adds to the um, the fragility of these ECX uh, stock axles. So. Uh, one thing, you know, and you, you can view our previous video, uh, you know, we've gotten uh, quite, quite a number of views on that. Um, the, uh, you know, the orientation of the, the axles, right, uh, the, the, um, the male part here and the female part are swapped uh, on the Traxxas and ECX vehicles. Uh, what we did before was, um, you know, if you try to, it was, it was this part of the axle, right, um, that broke uh, off the differential. If you just try to swap this in as is, it's not going to work. Um, you know, you can actually slide it into a certain degree, and then it butts up against um, two plastic pieces. Uh, or I shouldn't say separate pieces, but the molding for these drive shafts is different because, uh, whereas the ECX Ruckus or ECX two wheel drive um, differential outputs are are perfectly round. The ones on the, the Traxxas two-wheel drive vehicles is actually flat. And there, you know, there's, there's um, I, maybe I should just draw this, but uh, probably not necessary. You know, the, so there's, there's, there's basically moldings at the top and bottom here that will prevent this from sliding all the way in. And, you know, I, I, I tried using a, an appropriately sized drill bit here. This is a, I believe it was a 1364-inch drill bit. You know, so you can try to use this to ream this out. It gets in a little bit further, but that edge in the plastic actually goes down all the way. And you can see from the, this drill bit here, right, um, it's not perfectly flat at the end, right? There is an angle here at the, at the tip, so it, it can't get... Uh, that recessed portion of the the plastic all the way in. So, you know, this 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 uh, the the problem here is that you you need to get that pin, um, the pin that goes in through here, uh, to pass all the way through that that drive uh, the differential output, and you just can't do that. 
um, even after trying to ream it out with a drill bit. I even tried like a, will, a, a wood boring bit here, but um, similar thing here, that, that tip of the bit prevents it from, from working itself uh, exactly flush. Now I could cut off the tip of this drill bit, but then uh, this, that would render this uh, drill bit um, uh, useless for wood boring. So, uh, another approach that we've used in the past is using the, the Traxxas 4628X um, hardened yokes, hardened steel yokes. Now, uh, I mounted one onto this uh, drive shaft here. We're going to go ahead and use this. Um, these have worked pretty well. Um, you know, it is metal on metal contact here where the, this pin uh, slots through the universal. So you will begin to see it wear out here uh, and elongate. Um, but um, another issue here is that the pin itself, if you look at the difference here, this is the, um, uh, the, the 6852X Traxxas drive shaft and um, the drive shaft that we built using that hardened yoke. The, uh, again, that's the um, 4628X you'll see that the pin is actually smaller between the two. Um, so we'll see how this holds up. I, I, I couldn't find out. Maybe this was on the other ruckus that we had sold that we had swapped this one on to. Um, but uh, we'll try this again here. So um, you will need to switch the, um, uh, the set screw over to, you can see here that it actually, this one comes with two set screws mounted on each other's, each side, which is fine if you're using the, uh, the flat output yoke uh, on a Traxxas car or truck, but uh, on the Ruckus, you will, you will need to have a pin such as this that goes all the way through. So we'll go ahead and get this mounted up, let you guys know how it holds up under use, and um, we'll, uh, you know, we'll keep you guys posted, but just to show you that it actually works here, right? You can actually slot this in over here. And oh, I would have to loosen these set screws here. We might as well just do the whole thing while we've got you guys here on the video. Let me just take out these set screws, these grub screws, and then just trial fit the whole. Let's see if this guy, this guy should work here. See, that passes all the way through, which is exactly what we want. So, of course, you want to put some thread lock on there. Let me slide this dry shaft in. And get this installation complete here. Line up the holes. Couldn't just seem to remember if we had this on a um, on one of our slashes or one of our ruckuses because we've uh, we got quite a few of those. So again, uh, get that pin, put some thread lock on it, and then line it up. You can flex the shock tower here. some support thread lock here because uh, it's smeared onto the uh, the gearbox cover. Turn it off. All right, and just screw that drive pin all the way through. Put some thread lock on it. Just rotate it to see that it's passing all the way through. Looks good. All right. Just want to make sure that the other edge of that that um, gru that pin clears everything because it does stick out a little bit. And it looks like we're good. 
Uh, another thing with this upgrade is that we can no longer use um, our aluminum hexes. One thing to keep in mind too is that the um, the output shaft on the uh, on the drive shaft is actually a little bit thicker on the the um, uh, the uh, Traxxas as well. So that aluminum um, hex that we were using before no longer fits. So we'll have to switch back over to uh, a plastic one. This is uh, the, the Traxxas one. And you know, as we shared in a, in a previous video before, um, the, uh, the Rucky... So the, yeah, the stock, you can see the difference here. The stock um, ECX axle requires a spacer like this because it's got a thinner diameter here machined into uh, it so the hex goes sits on the pin over here and then you have this spacer and then the screw goes on um, whereas with the, the Traxxas drive shafts you don't need that and even if you try to use it it wouldn't work there um, so you can go ahead and delete the spacer which is nice those are kind of a pain to get in. Um, they're just an extra step that you have to do. So, you know, we've got our whole setup here now. Um, the Traxxas uh, upgraded drive shafts, and we'll let you know how uh, these hold up this time. So thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.